Hi everyone. Uh, today we're going to make some dominoes. Uh, we've just finished this project and we made the dominoes for this bench. The main reason is because we wanted the, the same species for the joinery as what we had for the actual project itself. So for this what you need is the stock material that you're going to make the dominoes from. You need the domino and you also need a test piece. What you need to do is decide what size domino you're using and put the appropriate cutter into the machine. So we'll do that here quickly. So we have an 8mm in at the moment. We've decided we're going to use a 10mm for this uh, because this stock here is quite near to 10mm. Right, that's that installed. So for this, we need a scrap block and we need to cut a slot of whatever size domino that we're actually going to make. The sizing here to take some measurements from and to do a test fit when we actually cut the domino to make sure that we've got a good fit. Just use the domino dock there. You've got a sight line here and I'm looking directly at that so it's actually at a better sighting line than the ones that I've seen a couple of other docks which are bolt upright. Um, this is the one we made and we've used it and used it and it works great. All right, so we cut the serrations in this with a CBN wheel. Now if you're going to do this, wear a mask. The carbide that you're cutting into here is not good for you. Right, let's get this installed in the router. The plane is set at 11 at the moment because this is just over 11. So we're going to go down to 10.8. Um, Now when we do this, we, uh, we do one side at a time, then we flip it over to keep everything nice and even as far as the fit's concerned. 10.5. Now I'm going to give it a try at 10.5, it's probably going to be way too big. So as suspected, uh, that is still a little bit snug, we can't get that in yet. We'll go put it back through the plane and we'll take it down a tiny bit at a time. So we're at 10.5. Five. So I'm going to take it to 10.3, take it through one side and then take it down to 10.1, flip it over, take it through the other side and we'll see where we are from there. Okay, let's have another test fit, see where we are. This is a 10.1. That is a good fit. I know it's supposed to be a 10 mil domino, but it's always worth just sneaking that fit in. And that is oh, a good friction fit, which is what you would expect. I sometimes prefer to take another little hair off that just so that it's not quite so tight. I mean, even now straight away that with putting that in twice, that's just kind of bruise the uh, the fibers to the point where it's sliding in a bit easier but that is lovely you can hear that as it hits the bottom nice the reason for these grooves is a relief for your glue so that you don't get hydro lock if you've ever put a joint together and your tenon or what other kind of joint that it is it's going in has hydro locked it means that there's no way for that tenant to go any further because it's it's full of liquid of glue and it doesn't matter what you do if you try and squeeze it any further you'll either bust out the other side or it'll break the wood through the side of the actual air structure itself and it's it's not good so you need something as a relief for the for the glue to get out so that as you're pushing it down it has somewhere to squeeze up through the grooves these save you a fortune we're just using i mean i've got i'll just show you this bin here 
I've got a bin here which is absolutely full of scraps and I can make quite a big supply of uh, dominoes from. All right, folks, that's it. I should just mention that the width of the domino, I didn't actually show that. We cut that on the table saw. Uh, it was 22 millimeters in width, but it's worth checking because each different domino cutter size has a slightly different width of domino slot that it leaves. Sorry, I didn't actually show that, but it's a simple thing. You just measure it and cut it to that size on the table saw. All right, any questions? Uh, leave them in the comments and uh, we'll take it from there. To the next one, take care. Bye-bye.